All right, guys, we've got two jobs today. First, we want to understand what a single, double, and triple bond are. In our last lesson, we were doing single bonds, um, and we touched briefly on this, but I thought I'd give you some notes. Double bonds are when elements share two pairs of electrons, so there's four electrons in total. And so you draw it like that. And triple bonds are where they share three pairs of electrons, or six electrons in total, and it looks like that. Um, the other thing we're going to learn about today is the shape that molecules have. And I'm going to teach you guys about four shapes. And the shape's really, really important. So I'll just draw it up for you and then um, I'll, just, I'll get you to copy it down after that. So keep going with what you're doing. I'm just going to get you to just come down the front so you can see this. So just jump up for a sec, guys. Come down to this front bench for me. Yeah, you're going to have to video. You have to video last awesome. time. Get out to video. Oh, all right. I'm a good video. All right, come on. Don't be shy. This won't take very long. Am I videoing you or not? No. Um, it's going to be down here, but anyway. Yeah. And I'm going to be linking it to these pictures on the board. You need to be able to see like this little workspace just here. Behold, I have an atomic model kit. This is representing something that can potentially form four bonds. And so, it could be any atom that's not hydrogen. For example, if it was chlorine, you know that chlorine's in group seven, so it's got seven in its outer shell, and it forms one bond with something like hydrogen. So those one, two, three, four pairs of electrons can be re represented by the four little lines coming off this. Can you see that? And I'll put these on it to accentuate it. Right, now, the shape that this is taking on, what angle do you reckon that is between those two? Ninety would be there, wouldn't oh, it? Oh, sorry. No, yeah. No. Uh, yeah. yeah, it is very close, 109. So the angle between each of these is exactly 109.5 or something degrees. And the reason that they do that is so that they can get as far away from each other as possible because electrons are negative, negative things don't like being near each other. So they're not going to do this unless they really, really, really have to. They have no other choice. 
So that shape is the shape that all things that form single bonds take on. If you put one hydrogen with this, so all of a sudden I've formed that first one there, and I'm leaving these green ones on to show you that they're electrons, we call that shape linear because it is just oh, a straight line between the main atom and hydrogen. So that's called a linear shape. If you add another atom to it, like this, it forms a V shape. You can see the V between the black and the two whites. So that's the shape that water molecules have. And that's why when I've drawn them, you'll see I don't draw them straight, I draw a little V. If you add one more hydrogen, so if it's got three things attached, it forms a pyramidal shape. So you can see it's kind of like a little pyramid. And if it's got four things attached, it's called tetrahedral. Pretty simple, right? Um, so after you've written those down, and now that you kind of understand what this means, you're going to go through these questions on your worksheet. These ones. And you can start with those ones. Once you get down to the bottom there, you've got a challenge. With these model kits, I want you to pick a molecule and make it. So previous ones that people have made are like nicotine, caffeine, heroin, morphine, all the kind of drug ones people enjoy making. If you want something simple, like glucose is pretty simple, or ethanol, like alcohol, but um, yeah. So you're gonna Google it, and then you're gonna try and make it structure, and it'll help you with that once you get up to it. But for most of the lesson, I want you to practice drawing these electron sharing diagrams that we did last time, then coming up with the structure, and then trying to pick what the shape is, okay? So you'll be working on those questions. Call me if you get stuck. You can press the button now, yeah, thanks. Button, is it? It's, uh, yeah. That one's stop.